Hey everybody, today we are going to be playing Bastion. Bastion. Don't really know how to say it. But either way, yeah, we're going to be doing another first impressions video, playing us for about a half an hour, seeing kind of what's up with the game. So let's go to the story. And let's do normal mode. No sweat modes, kind of. Eh, that wouldn't be enjoyable, right? Proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Why not? Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. That's some bad luck right there. He gets up, sets off yeah. for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. I'd probably stop to wonder friend, why. Just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. Very lucky. <laughs> Years of work undone in an instant. In the calamity. Okay, maybe... Okay, I was like, maybe these rocks will work. They do. So that's good. Survivor. No, ma'am. It's a gas fella. Forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him though. Yeah, I took a little bit of my health. That's fine. An though. old repeater falls out of the sky. Ooh. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Okay, so to shoot, it's the other click. Cool. Man, can I shoot this stuff out of the way? I can. I'd rather not use my hammer. My hammer is a little bit clunky. <laughs> there we go. Oh, do I get like credits from those? Uh, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's keep going. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. It's F to heal. Got it. A school of squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. Got rid of them squirts. So far, this game's really weird. I he sets foot don't really like how he looks. Famous watering holes. And inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. And I don't really know what's going on. I'd like a little bit of explanation, but then kid finds his trusty shield. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. Okay. The I could security use the shield. takes him for a petty thief. Bam. Special delivery. Gas fellas. Fun. Evading actually does damage. It's kind of funny. Bam. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. Oh, squirts! A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. A big old fella. He's a big old fellow. Kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Where is that? Is that... Oh, okay. It's like, well, what kind of window is this? That's not a very good, like, directional term. That's what I'm saying. This game is... I, I don't know. I don't know how to feel so far about it. things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. All the way back. Cool. 
got a bow. And I do like the bow better than a repeater. What? Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Ow. Bad news is they're aiming for the kid. What long before the kid could lose an arrow, strong and true. Except a few pointers from a dusty old tome. Use Q. He's a mighty fast learner. Nice. It's like Garen from League. Ow. He finds the distillery right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. One sip of the spirits in that distillery, and the kid'll feel like a new man. So let's see. Max 10 health. Yeah, I'll take that one. There you go. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Okay, I like these ones best. I could choose a repeater, but I actually don't want the repeater. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Bad time to run out of black tonic. Oh, the black tonic is what uses my whirlwind, right? Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Let's continue. That one was Maud, the tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them, though. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. Yeah, I don't know. The, the game just... is real close now. It just seems so random. I'm gonna shoot these so they don't spawn. There we go. Kid takes a chunk of alloy. Smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Oh, Scumbags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. up all these don't even know what they are actually but I guess we'll just pick them up anyway he finds the core to the wharf district he steals the city's heart might as well that's what I'm saying like this game's so random like why what was that what did he steal why he did he feel like better get a move on the place is starting to fall 
I don't know, so far this game yeah, makes cool. completely no sense. The only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Okay, then why did he take it? Kid just keeps running. I I don't understand this game. Ah, uh, come down on. toward the bastion. Oh, we're supposed to fall? Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. See, like, did anybody else survive? Why did he fall? Who? Where? Like, uh, okay. sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there. Then watch. Okay, why don't you tell me more? You're the narrator. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Why? To point the way to the cores. Why do we need the cores? For what reason? I don't even know what's going on. And just like that, the Bastion comes alive. What is the Bastion? It starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kids I... gotta put its power to good use. What power? Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. To do what? This game is just, there's no context to anything. I really don't like that. You could just say just go with the flow, but Keep I... Let's build that, I guess. The Bastion's a place of peace. But we can hold our own if we have to. So, like, I'm, like, only one here. The kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. Okay, so we're supposed to go to different places to gather the cores. To do what? Core detected... Proving ground area clear. Okay, so this is where we were. This is our proving ground to kind of test. And this is the first place, like the first part of the game, that we need to go get a core from. Okay. Still don't now know why. The intersection but... between bad and wrong. You can kind of just core down one of these twisted streets, but which one? He has for the biggest dump in town. Scumbag alley. Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershel. He has a name? They always said old Gershel wouldn't go without a fight. So the path is gone for good, and his city crest won't bring it back. So no not core, this way. No surprise. Like the gas fellas are hiding it from him. Up north is where the gas fella foreman used to live, tending to his flock. And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. A blustery old foreman is keeping his fellas in check, almost like he's showboating for the crowd. And now there's a new marshal in town. Okay, cool. We got he the core. The whole place grown, but it's too tough to follow. Might as well check the other side streets before leaving this hole. What can we even do with this one?
Honestly, I don't even know what to do. No white gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. It's like, what do we do with that stuff? No idea. Where am I supposed to go? He heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Somehow that old forge is still standing. Inside the forge, Key can fine tune those instruments of his. Okay. Kid's lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. Okay, cool. Got it. Where do we just go back to the middle now? We got that health. Skyway. Okay. He comes back just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. The windbags used to be all right. Then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Ain't always much to say. Okay, I don't know what... Cool, I guess. Do we go over here? What do we do with the core? Okay. He does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. Uh, let's build a distillery. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Just to carry on if defeated. Um, let's do this. No, 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 no. no let's do this one. Yeah. Hard at punch is so zesty, it'll let you carry on through the worst of times. Okay. Do we just keep going? Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. Okay. Let's fly to this one. Why not? Let's see what we find. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. Okay. Of all the plans to survive the calamity, it had to be stab weeds. Stuck inside one of those fancy cages. No brick in a cage like that, but the kid tries anyway. Gotta find a way to spring it open. Ah, oh, nice. Thanks for the he arrow. Throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? Quite a bit, as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All kid can do is wait. Shipments start falling in. Not every squirt's born bad. Some spring to the kid's defense. Yeah, go squirt. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. Scumbags don't take kindly to interlopers. Even some 
gas fellas take his corner. Birdie pop that mean old foreman. Cool, I got some At big dudes rate, here too. Maybe five more minutes, maybe thirty. Hard to tell. Squirts get real territorial around the core. Then a ship and a free sample shows up. Oh yum. It ain't all bad, as the kid finds some spices from the motherland, tax-free. One thing's for sure, that cage is awful heavy. It's a troublesome scene, to be sure. Oh, we fell. He's got him. Just gotta get to the nearest barge. Wonder where that is. Okay, obviously not that way. Okay, cool. Is it this way? Yeah. I still remember the look on his face after that one. The old world's finished, but the new world's just getting started. Okay, let's build the forge. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. Upgrade for the fan... Turns out those old bones still have some spark in them. Let's get that the speed up. Okay, I'm guessing we gotta keep going. Gotta go to this one. The sundown path. Lovely place for a stroll. Before the calamity, that is. What is this proven ground? Yeah, go here. There we go. Okay, and this will probably be the last island before we stop. Couples used to walk the sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure, though. Yep. I'm here to get cores for some apparent reason. But then, somebody gets to the core before the kid. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. The single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. Fragments of the old world rain from the sky. Well, the path ain't exactly open to visitors no more. Quick and careful is the only way to go. Okay, that way's not open. Oh wait, now it is. Okay, whatever. See, the path was intended for leisurely strolling and such. Sky bridges link the path together. One of them bridges whips the kid along. Air travel always was an iffy proposition. The calamity changed everything. What is the calamity? Where the wind blows.
well if we mastered the winds in the old days. We can do it again. Who else could have taken the core? Well, ain't no survivor stole the thing. Scumbag ate it by mistake. Awesome. <laughs> Tough break. Unlike the kid, that core ain't coming back. Darn. So no core then, huh? No, they used to ship live munitions down the path. Find time to find them. He's wires to toss those things plenty far away. Nice. Even gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get real Boom. cranky when you wake them up. In all this toil, Kid keeps coming back to an overwhelming question. Who else could have survived the calamity? Or what is the calamity? Or why is the floor like this? Or why is everything attacking me? Or what do I need the core for? Or why do the core so build buildings? So we didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. Okay, I guess we're doing another one because that was like really short. Folks voyaged across the boundless sea to found Ceylonia. It was good living here for a while. Sometimes a single look says it all. Guess let's go one more place. Core detected. Let's go. Let's go to this one. This will be our last one. The dead welcome him with open arms. Jeez, the calamity man. took everybody after all. Kids sees it plain, frozen faces all around. You don't much care to see him. Not like this. Why am I the only one that survived? I wonder. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. It was someone like him. Hmm. Kid sees him there agape, in the flesh. It's a snag or two trying to get to him. He ain't about to stop, no matter what. He's got so many questions, after all. Yeah, I do too. Just ain't got time for answers. The Tunder Brothers didn't make it. Okay, the floor really should, like, make faster. Nordy, the bird boy, didn't make it. The Jawsons, they didn't make it. Grady Sr., Grady Jr., they didn't make it. But him, he survived. Just think, without that man, we wouldn't be here right now, would we? Kid does what he has to do. What do you say to a man who's seen too much? Kid hasn't a clue, but he says this. We have to go. Please. Okay, so he came back. With He's us. a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's an Ura. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home too, far to the east. Okay. What do I do with this Kid core, fam? Finished here yet. Oh. The cores. 
They remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why okay. things are gonna be all right. This island's starting to look like a fidget spinner. Well, look what we have here. The lost and found. Here, kid takes fragments of the old world and makes them whole again. Special cell or secret skill these are skills. Okay. Momento. Okay. Um Is that for the I don't know which ones are for which weapons. Um Okay, cool, but we can buy some stuff. So we'll just buy this. All it takes is some fragments, and the bastion makes it good as new. And then we'll buy this. I think this might be for the bow. Then we'll buy this. Did I already buy this? I'm buying it again. And let's buy this. Yeah. Okay, don't have enough. Cool. And we'll buy this. Cool. Zolf offers to help me plot the skyways for the kid. At least the calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. We could always see the stars. We just never could reach them. No matter how high we go. Oh, we can zoom out finally. Okay, cool. Okay, so I think we're good on time here. Yeah, guys, I think it is time to end the episode. I kind of want to keep going. kind of don't. This game kind of makes me mad at how vague about it is about everything. But it is a fun game. It's not a bad game. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a personal channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.